So, in this lecture we will basically define what um, inner products are and uh, delve into the inner product spaces. So, we will start with a definition let S be a vector space defined over a scalar field given by this uh, R. An inner product function is uh, basically a function from the Cartesian product of the vector space to R with the following properties. So, I p 1 stands for inner product uh, property 1, the inner product of x with y assume that x and y are vectors and each of the coordinates are basically real real entries. So, inner product of x y is inner product with y x of course, these definitions will change if I define the inner product function as a Cartesian product of the vector space to perhaps a complex number. So, that would basically be a different definition, but here we will stick to real reals. So, therefore, uh, this property holds so, the inner product of x y is the same as uh, that with y x. So, we have the second property suppose I scale the input uh, you know one of the vectors um, by alpha let us say we want the inner product of alpha x with y this is basically alpha times the inner product with x and y and of course, we say that alpha is basically a real number here belonging to the real number. We have the third property which is basically distributive property we take the sum of two vectors and we take the inner product with another vector. So, the inner product of alpha y alpha plus y with z is basically the inner product of alpha with z and the inner product of y with uh, c. And we have the last property the inner product of a vector with itself is greater than 0 for all x which is not the null vector and it is 0 if and only if the vector itself is a null vector right. These are several properties for uh, for an inner product function. Now, this inner product is a very important tool for signal representation because we would like to figure out how much of distance we have to go along a certain basis right along a certain basis function how much of distance should we go and that basically sets up uh, for the coordinates uh, in the signal space. So, it is a very very important uh, parameter. So, once we have the inner product defined we have something known as the induced induced norm right. So, in L 2 spaces if you recall we did L 1 L 2. 
so on uh, l infinity right we defined the basically the geometry of these uh, lp spaces right so in l2 for a vector x belonging to rn it's a n dimensional vector if we look at the inner product of x with itself take the square root of of this quantity this basically is the norm of x it's a, it's it's trivial to figure out and this is basically x1 square plus x2 square plus so on till xn square and if, if you think about x is basically x1 x2 dot 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 x that means you have uh, n coordinates now similarly for functions we can define this uh, this this induced norm that is we look at the inner product of the function with itself right and and that quantity is basically xt in the l2 sense and this is basically integral a to b mod xt square dt the square root of this this quantity right so this is basically the induced norm so this is basically giving you a metric of the inner product of a vector with itself or a function with itself now once we are comfortable with the induced norm we can uh, this is idea of having one vector now we can think about the difference vector and we can think about uh, the norms over these difference vectors 